everyone, this is Jenny Barrage, and today we are playing Flower on the PS4. Awesome. Uh, before we begin, I'd like to thank all my current subscribers for subscribing. Thank you all so much. You are all so amazing. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I don't really know what to expect. Oh, this flower looks so lonely. Oh no. So, um, I've always wanted to play Flower ever since it came out, but I never really got the chance to pick it up. I mean, uh, with all the AAA games coming out, I decided to play uh, those games instead of this one, and I just kept on putting it uh, to, to the back of uh, my two-game list, which honestly I shouldn't have done, but... I'm glad I'm playing it now. I'm really excited. All right. The ambiance of uh, this game is what really made me want to uh, play this game in the first place. Just look at that. It's so peaceful. It's absolutely beautiful. So on June 20th, my birthday, uh, it was late at night, it was around 11.55 p.m. And I decided to treat myself to, uh, to a really cool game that I've always wanted to play. So I was checking out the PlayStation Store and I came across Flower on the PS4 and I was so ecstatic. Especially because I had no idea Flower was on the PS4 to begin with. And it was, uh, it was quite the coincidence too, actually, because um, the other day I was looking at uh, the collector's edition pack for Journey, and it had uh, Flower and Flow, and I really wanted to play, play uh, Flower, so I, I was actually planning on buying that game, but this is just perfect, because I've already played Journey. But yeah, this is amazing so far. Just look at that, it, wow. It's almost like I'm dancing in the wind. It almost feels magical. Wow. This game could honestly be really great for all ages, really. Like, I could see my uh, parents playing this as well. And obviously they don't really game as much as I do, but, you know, this is really nice. So Flower was initially released in 2009 for the PS3 by that game company. And uh, it was recently released for the PS4, which I had no idea. Um, now, I haven't really had time to look at the PS3's uh, version of Flower yet, but I am assuming it's more or less the same as the PS4's version. I am curious to know if the graphics are similar though. Like, I find the graphics um, in this game to be very, uh, almost cartoon-like, but in a very good way. It's not realistic at all, but it definitely has a very artsy feel to it. That game company uh, recently released uh, Journey a while ago and it was amazing. And ever since then I told myself I have to play Flower, like I have to. Like, I, I wanted to play Flower before, but then after playing Journey, it was kind of like a priority for me. So it seems like here that uh, the flowers that have the the aura around them, that, that globe around them, they're considered the most important flowers, I'm guessing? Oops, went the wrong way.
Now, so far, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm just, you know, in enjoying the peace right now. It's very nice. I actually should have uh, brought my green tea up here with me. It seems like it'd be the perfect game for green tea right now. <laughs> Of all the times, I forget my tea, like, it had to be for this game, right? But yeah, this is amazing so far. Really fun. Isn't that satisfying? So I'm holding X to uh, speed up my flowers, but um, you can literally press any button you want. Um, I'm noticing the steering is a bit hard for me. Uh, I guess I'm just not used to um, controlling my controller, like, uh, physically, you know, putting my controller left and right like that. Oh wow, that's cool. So the reason why I wanted to play Flower today was mainly because, um, you know, wow, just look at that. Like, it's just so beautiful. It's almost like, um, it's almost like interactive meditation, if you will. Like, I really feel like uh, I'm using this game to just meditate, to really just relax. And it's really fun at the same time. Like, wow. Oops, there's one flower I'm missing. Okay. I really like how this game is very intuitive. There's no uh, directions on what to do. It just seems like um, you know any gamer would understand uh, the premise for these little obstacles. good. So I've noticed that uh, my taste in games have really um, have really been derived from how inspiring they are to me. Like for example this game is amazing. It's so dreamlike. It's so imaginative and I really appreciate games like that. You know I, I think it really um, harnesses uh, the creativity of the gamer and that's so important especially in today's uh, age when creativity is so much more important than anything else are we already done oh no <laughs> So sad. Oh, that's so cool. 
Thanks everyone and make sure to subscribe.